Jade Moves. It's choreographed by Michelle Perone and Joe Thompson Szymanski. It is a 32 count four wall intermediate advanced line dance with no tags and no restarts. I'm going to turn around and break down the dance section by section using steps and counts. We'll then practice the front wall all the way through with steps and counts and then go around and do four walls of the dance so that you know how it flows so you can hopefully dance this on a dance floor near you. So let's turn around and learn MJ moves. Section one, your weight's going to start on your left foot. You're going to take the ball of your right foot, you're going to press it to the right side with a bent right knee. As you press, you're going to lean into this press and have your right shoulder come up. You're going to recover back onto your left foot as you push off with your right foot. You're now going to cross your right behind your left, step your left foot to the left side and cross your right over your left. We're now going to do side steps with hips. So you're going to roll your left knee slightly out to the side and as you step with your left, you're going to push your left hip. We're now going to do the same thing with the right. You're going to roll your right knee out and push with your right hip. You're going to do it one more time with your left. Roll that left knee out and push with your left hip, slightly using this as a prep. We're now going to make a half turn over our right shoulder as we put our weight onto our right foot to face six o'clock. Now, if you don't quite make it all the way around with this step to make a half turn, you do have the first count of the next section to fully square yourself up to the back wall. So now let's try that with some counts. Weight is on your left, you're pressing to the right. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, eight. Section two, you're going to step your left foot to the left side and as you step, you're gonna point your right toe to the right side, slightly angling your body to the left and you're gonna snap both hands to the left. We're now gonna make a quarter turn over our right shoulder, stepping down onto our right foot to face nine o'clock. You're gonna make a half turn over your right shoulder, stepping back with your left foot to face three o'clock, and we're going to do a right coaster step, stepping right back, left together, right forward. We're now going to do a syncopated turning weave. So we're gonna make a quarter turn over our right shoulder as you step your left foot to the left side to face six o'clock. You're now gonna cross your right behind your left, and then you're going to make a half turn over your left shoulder as you step forward with your left foot to face 12 o'clock. Now again, just like the previous section, you do have the first few counts of the next section to square yourself completely up to the front wall. So let's try that with some counts. We would have just done our hip half turn. You're going to do your step and point. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, and eight. Section three, you're gonna quickly step your right foot next to your left. You're gonna use this to completely square yourself up to 12 o'clock. You're now gonna step your left next to your right, and as you step, you're going to do a sweeping kick with your right foot, having your right foot come around from back to front. You're now gonna cross your right over your left, Step your left foot to the left side, cross your right behind your left, and then make a quarter turn over your left shoulder, stepping forward with your left foot to face nine o'clock. You're now gonna step forward with your right foot, step forward with your left, do a half pivot over your right shoulder, putting your weight onto your right foot to face three o'clock, and then step forward with your left. So let's try that with some counts. We would have just done our weave. You're gonna quickly step that right next to your left. And one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Section four in our final section of the dance. We're going to do a triple forward with our right. So you're gonna step your right foot forward, bring your left foot into your right, step your right foot forward. We're now going to do a kick ball cross. So you're gonna kick your left foot low and forward, step your left next to your right and cross your right slightly over your left. You're now going to do a left triple forward, stepping left forward, bring your right foot into your left, Step your left foot forward, and then we're going to do a kick ball cross, kicking that right foot low and forward. Step your right next to your left, and then cross your left slightly over your right, and then you're ready to go into the next wall. So let's try that with some counts. We would have just done our step, half step. You're facing three o'clock, weight is on your left foot. You're doing your triple forward. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. And then you're ready to start the dance all over again. So now let's face the front. We're going to try it one time through with steps, one time through with counts. Weight is on your left foot. You're starting with your press with your shoulder. Press, 
recover. Behind side, cross, hip out. Out, out, half side, point with your throw. Quarter, half, coaster, step, quarter behind, half, ball step, kick. Cross, side, behind, quarter, forward, step, half, step. Triple, forward, kick, ball, cross. Triple, forward, kick, ball, cross. Let's try it with some counts. Weight is off your left, you're starting with your press to the right. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five and six, seven and eight, and one, two, three, four and five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. And then you're ready to go right into that press with the right. So now we're gonna go around, we're gonna do four walls of the dance. On the front and back walls, I'm going to do steps. Side walls, we're going to do counts. The most important thing is that after you do this kick and you're going from your slow counts, you wanna make sure you're doing that quick behind quarter forward so that you can go back into your slow counts to end that section. Facing the front, weight is on your left foot. You're starting with that press with your right. Press, recover. Behind side, cross, hip, out. Out, out, half step, throw with a point. Quarter, half, coaster, step, quarter behind, half, ball step, kick. Cross, side, behind, quarter, forward. Step, half, step. Triple step, kick, ball, cross. Triple step, kick, ball, cross. Now one, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, press, recover, behind side, cross, now your walk out, 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 half step, point, and throw, quarter, half, coaster, step, quarter, behind, half, ball step, kick, cross, side, behind, quarter, forward, step, Half step, triple step, kick ball cross, triple step, kick ball cross, press one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. And that is the whole dance. So now that you've learned it with the tutorial, you can use the timestamp in the video description below to skip to the rear demo so that you can practice it as much as you would like so that you can go and rock this classic on a dance floor near you. If you have any questions, let me know, but I hope this helped you learn MJ moves. Thanks, guys.